Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Aslik, the medical student from the MC Manjiri. I start my day at around five. I get my mask, earphone, and cap, and prepare for my walk. If you have seen my old video, you'll understand that I'm returning back home through a different way, and this area is full of paddy fields and all. I really love that cloud. You see, I told you this area is so beautiful. Okay, enough sightseeing. Let's get back. After getting back home, I get my cup of tea and start my study session. So at first, I'll be going for a one-hour study session from 6:30 to 7:30, and I'll be dealing with pathology of liver and pancreas. I'm actually going through my university plan, which I made in the last video. If you haven't seen that, do check it out. So it's time to study. Today, I will be covering cirrhosis. that is a terminal disease of the liver in which the liver undergo fibrosis different causes can trigger cirrhosis alcohol is one of the major cause for liver cirrhosis the interesting thing about liver is that even after all this damage it takes it can completely regenerate and repair itself that's a very beautiful thing about liver after finishing liver i help my mother with buying milk then i get my breakfast and the time is around 8 i get some water and return back to my room so the time is around 8 now i start my second study session of 2 hours from 8 am to 10 am After finishing cirrhosis and hepatitis, I have to finish hepatocellular carcinoma. This is actually the malignancy of liver. After I finish that, I mark it in a piece of paper, and it's time to plan the next topic. I go to my plan, change the color to green. It's time to learn the pharmacology, and before that, I have an online class to attend at 10 a.m., which is medicine, because our sixth semester of hostings have started. So the time is around 9. So to 9 to 9:40, I will go with hepatitis virus, that is microbiology. So I keep the iPad aside, and we'll begin with hepatitis virus. So take my Burba Shastri, my microbiology textbook. Again, set the timer. Pomodoro method. Here I am going through the active recall questions that I have made myself. I actually go through the questions, try to answer them instead of simply rereading my notes and textbook. And this is much faster and effective way of revision rather than simply rereading your notes again. So I live with hepatitis virus for around 13 minutes. So the time is around 9:40. Now I go and read the newspaper. You know, it's a good thing to read newspapers, and these days, you know, we all read online news and all. But if you have a newspaper coming to your home, you know, it, it just gives a different feeling because uh, going through all those paper, you know, that that physical feeling is still something irreplaceable by the digital media's. After spending around 10 to 20 minutes with the newspaper, I return back to my room. I hope I'm not late for the online class. The time is oh 9:59, right in time. So I join the online class. By enjoying a piece of cake, I listen to the lecture on rheumatoid arthritis. If you are like me, who eats during the online classes. to let me know in the comments the sir is explaining beautifully that's why i'm not sleeping after the medicine i get back to my microbiology because the hepatitis virus was not yet finished
it's time for a small break. So I walk down, walk through the flowers my mother has made. This guy is known as a spider plant. Did you know this? Okay, let's get back room. So I finished the hepatitis. It's time for the pharmacology. I also write up my botany reading plan. Only after finishing pharmacology, I'll read my botany. So I then search for the pharmacology topic. Before I start with pharmacology, it's time to put my iPad into charge because I have more class to attend. Okay, so I get back to pharmacology. This time I'm learning the drugs for diabetes, you know, anti-diabetic drugs. There are different drugs like insulin, you know, the most famous one. And then you have a lot of drugs that you take orally, that is oral hypoglycemic drug, hypoglycemia, producing the glucose in your body. When I learn a particular drug in pharmacology, I have to learn about its side effects, its mechanism of action, how does the body absorb it, how does the body metabolize it, how does the body eliminate it, all these things have to be learned. After finishing the pharmacology at around 12.30, I go and read botany. I read from another table because, you know, if I stay in the same table for a long time, I'll end up sleeping. If you are wondering why I am reading botany, I am currently taking tuition for some children in my nearby tuition center. That's why I am reading botany. Okay, botany done. Now it's time for a bath. After the bath, it's time for my lunch. Like I said in my exam planning video, you have to respect your energy levels. I know that if I try to study from 1 to 3, I will end up sleeping. So I go for a sleep. And I wake up at 3 and spend the next 1 hour with pharmacology. Because I have to finish the anti-diabetic drugs. At around 4, I get myself a cup of tea and continue finishing the pharmacology. Yes. Pharmacology takes time. If you are a medical student, let me ask you something. Have you ever struggled with pharmacology? You let me know. Here you can see that I am making some questions so that I can revise them myself. Since I have finished reading the topic, I have to make sure that I remember anti diabetic drug. That's why I am testing myself. As you know, testing yourself is always better. So pharmacology done, botany done. Now I'll make my plans for the night. I have to do two modules of QBank. I have to write my script, you know, do some video editing and also read the rheumatoid arthritis from medicine. Enough studying. It's time for a break. I go to the balcony and start working on my script for the next 13 minutes. I suddenly hear a helicopter buzzing around, you know, the curious child inside me woke up. Couldn't see it, but so sad. Okay, let's get back to scripting. After 30 minutes of scripting, I get back to my room and the time is around 6.43. I have now an online class to attend. That is ENT lecture, ear, nose and throat. All this ENT and medicine are part of our sixth semester posting. Again, one hour of online lecture. After the ENT lecture, I go get my dinner and get back to my room. Here I am going through the ENT test book to understand the topic that was just taken a couple of minutes ago. Most of us don't listen to the online class, so it's better to go through the text book after the class at least so that you know we understand something. After finishing that, it's my social media time. So I go through my WhatsApp. Instagram, YouTube, all those things for the next 45 minutes. After doing that, I open my marrow to solve some cue banks. Now this thing called marathon means that you have to solve around 5 cue banks a day. 
They are doing this to make us understand the importance of consistent QBank solving efforts and I have decided that I will try to do at least one module a day. And I will you know, in the future try to increase that level into 5 modules per day. When you finish a QBank in Marrow, then I'll actually show you a comparison of how much you did better than your peers. Okay, two modules done, now it's time for a little bit of video editing. After finishing that, it's time to assess the day. QBank done, ENT done, video editing done, scripting done. But I couldn't finish the rheumatoid arthritis, I'll postpone it for tomorrow. Before sleeping, I clean my table. The table will be the first thing I'll be seeing tomorrow, so I have to make sure it's neat. So that's it. It's around 11 now and it's time to sleep. So if you enjoyed this video, do let me know in the comments and don't forget to press that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed. Thank you. See you in the next video. Take care.